Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm gonna do a video today for fire signs, okay? This is fire sign. This could be uh, to you if you haven't done your chart and you don't know and you're just compelled to watch this video, welcome. You may have fire signs calling you from your, you know, different aspects of your chart. Maybe not just your sun sign, your moon sign, your ascendant, your Venus, which is your love, and your um, Mercury, which is like your more mental. Um, but it could also be sometimes our person or our partner's energy, since we're so closely connected and related to our twin flames, they pop up and they're like, oh, okay, well, let's let's read their energy. And again, you may not, it may be the same thing for them. You may not know their ascendant or their moon sign. You know, it's cool to find out, but in the meantime, you don't know and you're being drawn to watch this video. So just have an open mind about what could possibly resonate with you. I mean, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> And this is where we're headed. So before I even get started, I have been shuffling some of these cards, but I want to take a few Oracle cards and yeah, fire signs. I hope you guys are doing really well. We just kind of came out of your birthday season. Your, um, if your sun sign is in fire, then you know, you just had a birthday within the past month or so, and you probably had a really awesome month and I'm so happy for you about that. Like hopefully you did. If not, then you know, we're going to look into that hopefully and see, like, understand why, because you have to look at the problems. You have to look at the negativity. You can't just go through life and just like not, and just like not deal with your shit. You know, like it's not, yeah, it's like life is not all fun and games, you know? <laughs> so we have breathe. Oh, I love this. Just letting it make you just like, I want to take a deep breath, and I also forgot how nice it is outside, so I definitely want to open this window. It's getting a little warmer, but it's still really nice, and I'm sorry if those crickets bother you. Um, I kind of like being connected to the natural sounds of nature. <laughs> the natural sounds of nature. So Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths, and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So I guess probably what's worse than the crickets is gonna be the trucks. <laughs> Not usually a lot of trucks, but you know, Murphy's Law, right? Okay, so Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths. Breathing is a, it's a something that happens naturally for us, but it's also something that we can really control. We can really change. We can really benefit from if we focus on it a little bit. Okay, I'm actually loving this new setup. I hope that you guys like it. I don't know. You know, we're going to have to see how it goes. And I am going to take an animal card today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So September energy is going to be interesting. There were a lot of aspects, a lot of action. There's a lot of action going on in August. There's like devil. There's like, I, there's so much going on astrologically for September. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have a lot of change. Okay. So a lot of this is about preparing, getting ready, making sure you're on point right now. It's kind of what I've been feeling the energy overall. You know, if you haven't watched any of my other videos. So we get the Roadrunner. Don't take things too seriously. I love this card for you because it's so bright and cheery and much as, you know, obviously fire colors and, you know, feels and stuff. Keep your sense of humor. And for some of you, I don't think you have a problem with this at all. Like, <laughs> that's something that you, you know, you do well. But also, I would say flitting around like this, a little bird, you know, little road runners flitting around. Like, he's just zooming around so fast. And he sometimes doesn't, like, also take the time to, like, dig deeper. Like, I feel like this is where it is. Keep your sense of humor, like, and don't take things so seriously. There's that, but energy coming through with this card and being like, make sure that you are like not overdoing it, <laughs> you know, like keep your sense of humor, but maybe, you know, don't make that, don't let that be like you, like a lot of you already have, like fire signs are just known for being like, outrageous and funny so sometimes you will overdo that sort of aspect like do anything to get a laugh sort of thing and then 
you know, you maybe are not focusing so much on the work and stuff that, that like needs to be done, like the more serious issues that need to be taken care of. But that is a great example of something, you know, like everything that needs balance in this world. So we are also gonna take a moon card because hey, why not? I mean, come on, don't you love these? I just love them. I am a Cancer sun and moon, so one of those things. But actually, interestingly enough, I have more air in my chart than anything else. Plugged it in somewhere. Oh, oh my gosh, you and your loved ones are safe. I'm not, I'm gonna like put it out there, but I'm not gonna say it because I've gotten this so much. Like, I might have put it back backwards so yeah you and your loved ones are safe okay and oh this one again conclusions are within reach okay so oh, this is like very interesting this is very interesting to me um let me just yeah Conclusions are within reach. We are at, I believe we are at, I'm trying to remember, we have a full moon, like, or is it a new moon? We have a new moon now. So basically, and I think it's August 30th. Did we just go through this? So Conclusions are within reach, but it's still this energy of da 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 kind of sailing through. We're starting to feel like there's a little bit more coming for September. Like it's not just me telling you guys that. Like I feel like energetically we're starting to feel that. Okay, so I apologize for my stumbling over my words here. We're going to get right into this. It was August 15th. Wait, August 15th, we had the full moon. Yeah. And then August 30th, we just had the new moon. Yeah. So that was basically last night. So that's what I was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's the 31st today. So and the way that I do this reading time is fluid. So it's like whenever you end up watching it. Just watch it from you're watching it from there. Like that's how it's meant to be. I'll talk about days, weeks, whatever, and that's just how I roll. Okay. So we are now going to just go ahead and jump right in here. So happy to be here with you guys today. Okay. okay. I am gonna try to make these shorter, but. If I get going, then I get going. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we do have some interesting energy here. Okay, so we're gonna look at kind of what's been going on recently and leading up into the present moment with you. Okay, for the fire signs. Okay, something's been happening. We just can't shake it. Something's getting us down a little bit. There's like kind of a blues that's maybe hanging around and it's kind of almost watery. Like you're in, you're in your feels and it's kind of like not the most comfortable place, you know, for a fire sign to be is in that watery emotional areas as I was referring to earlier. Um, now I am actually, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, a double moon sign. Basically I'm a sun and a moon, uh, excuse me. Yeah. My sun and my moon is in the moon, um, in cancer. But I also have an ascendant of Leo, so it's like I can kind of identify with it. I guess it's how I come off to people a little bit, is like a Leo, um, you know. So I can, like the clash, you know, like the clash is always there. And like fire signs, you know, have to kind of take a space where they're like, I mean, we all have to deal with our emotions, you know. We all have to figure out how to do it. And I feel like there's a misdirect between where you're focusing your energy on, like what exactly you're looking on needs to be, you're not focusing on the right thing right now, or you haven't been in the recent past, maybe necessarily. And it's been causing a little bit of like annoyances for you, I think. Maybe just like nothing like too crazy, but kind of just like, eh, I wish I wasn't thinking that, I wish I wasn't feeling that way. Like kind of annoying. Okay. I wish I'm thirsty. I wish I had a drink. Some sparkling water or something, you know? <laughs> okay, so you've been going through something, but it's also kind of like you're working it out. 
you might not be really trying to focus on it too much so like your focus tends to be like moving and I feel like your focus is a little bit on your maybe your home your work your material things your money you're kind of over focusing on stuff like that and not really going within and doing the work that needs to be done as much you know that you can be very powerful like you know that you could change things you know you could get really what you wanted I mean and if you don't know then I'm telling you like you could you could have oh, this breeze I just got this great cool breeze oh my goodness it's just so nice that's amazing like you could have the best feelings in the world everything you wanted with this the breeze is part of that just it wasn't it was like not coming in and then when I was talking about that like you could do it you could have you already have a lot of things going for you like a lot of things have been falling into place for you a lot of things are rising for you but it's almost like what why am I still not happy like what else do I need and you need that that emotional thing like your twin flame you know maybe out there or I mean they're out there regardless because they're not inside of you because it's two you know it's like essentially two souls spirits like connected that were separated okay so you can come into this new beginning with your partner like you still can like you can you can attract if you have the right mental space the right emotional space and therefore create you know if you build the right foundation you will attract your person and it might be very fast like swoop they're here <laughs> hello I'm here you know what I mean and just like totally change everything all of a sudden it's emotional turbulence not to say that like you're waiting for a person because I'm not um, I'm not saying that especially like fire, a lot of fire signs very independent okay but deep down like a lot of us do want like when you breathe when you meditate when you focus like when you go through life it's like you do want somebody to laugh with you know to love with to have fun with and to learn and to grow and that's what our twin flame does so most of us probably already like if you are here you probably already know your twin flame and I feel like in this instance you guys just might not be on the best of terms right now and that's okay because a lot honestly a lot of us aren't and it's not like it's like kind of good in some ways and kind of cordial and kind of going through the motions but it's like something's off and we're just doing so much personal growth right now. It's kind of like we're keeping our partners at bay. I feel like it's all about energy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so moving forward. So we're standing strong in our own, you know, and it's almost like maybe a little too much, but I don't want to say too much because every situation is different and it's good. You know, if you're standing in your own, for a lot of us, that's amazing. Like we need to stand in our own. We need to show our partner that we are not afraid to be without them. They need to know that this is not in a codependent attachment based relationship. It's just not, that's not, it may have been what it was about in the past, but it's not now because we we're growing and we're healing and we're, you know, we're doing exactly what we need to do. We've got a lot to show how far we've come. And other people are noticing that they're like whoa like what are they doing right now that is so you know working for them whether it's mental spiritual physical health you know whatever like but I feel like you are prospering in a lot of ways like you are you're taking care of yourself and that is also what is like and especially when you go deeper like I feel like there's this there's a little bit of a superficiality going on right now not to be like mean or rude or anything but it's a lot about it's a lot about money it's a lot about you know your everyday like tangible like maybe you're buying a lot of things you're just like your actions are kind of like okay you're being strong and independent which is good you're not being like codependent with your person really but it's like if they don't know how you feel you know on the inside or like you you might need to clarify you know some things within yourself emotionally and then maybe think about talking to them about that because if you just work on your own business your money your stuff your life your whatever you're doing you know your little hustle and you know that's great get on mission make it the right thing make it make this world a better place <laughs> like get that recognition you know what i mean but don't let that block you from doing the inner work that you need to do 
because that's what happens a lot of times is we just get sucked into the practicalities of this of this world we get sucked up and it oh other people's drama and then we get sucked up into this and that it's like oh how many years have passed now and we're not living authentically and we're not we haven't done any more growth like we need to put the pedal to the metal here because again september 13th ding 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 the magic date is coming you need to be ready for this date what you are experiencing like what you have been experiencing like from now until then uh, you're gonna get more of you're gonna get more of that energy you're gonna like you're like setting the tone for the next decade right now honestly I just hope that people are doing well right now you know and I'm really leveling up and that's all I can say like acknowledge your power like you are so 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 powerful you just need to be your authentic self don't follow other people if you're following somebody and saying oh I'm doing this because she looks so great and that looks so cool and I want to do that. No, it's got to be something you resonate with. Don't spend your time. Don't nourish. Don't water anything that isn't going to become a beautiful garden for you. And you got to, that's why you got to really think about what you want. Like, what are you actually going to plant in your garden? You got to be that. You got to think about it before you actually do it. But then you got to go do it too, you know? And you got to make sure that it's going to grow well there. It takes a little bit of planning, you know? And that's why you're not worried. You know, you shouldn't worry about like all this material things like worry about how you're going to really truly get where you want to be and sometimes we just have to strip it all down naked and be like where where you know maybe we've been focusing on the money side maybe we've been focusing on things we don't need like what should we now focus on and this is where the breathe comes in take several deep breaths slowly exhale to awaken your energy and release old patterns this is what we need to release something here you guys this is what i'm saying and don't make it a negative thing. Have fun with it. You can have fun with everything you do. You really are allowed to do that. Conclusions are coming. You're figuring this out. Like this is in the now and moving into the forward at this point now, okay? On this little mini read, I feel like it's so... <laughs> so yeah, get, don't be afraid to get vulnerable. Don't be afraid to really truly express yourself and to kind of let down your walls and get like authentic with people. You don't, you know? Like I feel like there's this with fires there's this kind of show-offy mentality sometimes and it's like look at me look at me i'm you know i'm so great look at, not to like say that about people because we all do that like we all have our ego like that is the ego but i feel like right now you're not even going to let that happen like you're not going to let your ego because you're just because you're, you're starting to get deeper you're starting to get deeper within yourself again you're going past this like superficiality of life you're, you're turning over a new leaf right now and you will throughout september like September is going to all be about change. It might not feel the best, but you know that it's all happening for your higher good. And it's going to happen. You know, you, if you know it's coming to, you can be like more prepared for it. Like make time to meditate, to breathe. That's all meditation is. It's like breathing. Just take time to breathe. Do your little yoga. Do just some very basic, easy warm-ups. Get on YouTube and do some Qigong. Qigong is like so great for you. Any type of like bagua, like. It's just all like yoga, it's so good, it's so good for you. Um, and having a clear mind, having a clear mind right now, kind of pure, you wanna be like pure of heart and like wholesome right now. This is just, your, you're, you're, you're leveling up, you're on a higher level here, fire signs, this is great for you. Like I really feel like you are getting deeper and it's gonna help you shine even brighter when you are being this, again, authentic you. Like you are so great, you are so funny. You know, you shine so bright. You are getting what you want. You're getting what you want very, very soon, okay? And this, I think, has a lot to do with your person and, you know, your twin flame energy partner. But again, you have to get your mind in the right space to start digging into taking this deeper journey because what's gonna take you to your twin flame energy, what's gonna bring you together in union is by dealing with the shadow work. It's by going within following your intuition, making time and space. You have to do, you have to work it. You have to walk the path. If you don't, if you don't walk the path, you're not going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? You have to grow. You have to evolve. You just look at some of the big and some of the little things in your life that have happened that cause you to think in a certain way. You have to really gain this wisdom and understanding, you know, in order to help be a leader for this world. You're, when you do this work and when you do the shadow work and the inner child healing work, 
more on that all over my channel. I'm having a playlist, I'm doing a lot of posts today actually about this. So stay tuned basically for those stay subbed, you know, so you can see some of that stuff. I'm gonna give a lot of information away for free, especially in the beginning, basically put my whole video program out there just teaching about the whole process and then at some point you know i may once i get a little bit more um, views and stuff i think i'm going to um, maybe put it into kind of a package together with a book so anyway i just think that there's a lot of potential this is a really good reading this is like level up but also level down because you're going downward you're going inward into like your psyche and let me pull one more card here. Kind of clarify some of this energy. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do this work. Like you have to prioritize this work. It may not feel the best either. Like it may not feel the best. It may be a huge shower moment for you. Like it may be, it may really sink you know, and really burn to come and do some of this inner child work, but you can't bury stuff. When you bury stuff, it's going to come out one way or another. You know what I mean? And it, it, basically the shadow work, the switch, what I call switch is shadow, uh, shadow work and inner child healing switch. So we do this work. It's kind of one and the same. Um, one's kind of more past, one's kind of more present, and there's kind of slightly different variations in how you work them. But you know, you have to do them both. You have to do the work. If you don't do the work, you're going to have like explosions of situations happening because your ego is going to get out of control. You're not going to be um, manifesting the right things. Because if you're not, it's like I always say, huge quote of mine. If you're not getting better, you're going to get worse. And it's the same thing with this. Like if you're not getting better, manifesting positive things, you're not just going to manifest like the same thing. You're going to you're gonna decline and manifest like negative things. But you're not gonna do that because you're gonna actually do the work and go within and decide to go down that different path and stop having these tower moments over and over again. Okay, there's been a lot of, I think, repetition, a lot of old tower moments, oh, and that tower moment, and that like is my whole life a, a thing of tower moments? <laughs> you know, sometimes we wonder, sometimes we feel that way. But don't feel that way and don't think that way and don't give that kind of energy any don't shine any light on it from that. You know, don't spend any time on that. You are the controller of your thoughts. When you control your thoughts, you know, this is all about the law of attraction. It really is. You are choosing, but it's not always going to be super, super comfortable. You're going to have to go through life. You know, you're going to have to live a little. And with the pain will come the gain. Like, no pain, no gain. Okay? So stick around. Stay sub. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you guys. I really am. I'm here to help everybody. Since I'm shuffling these cards, I am going to take two more cards just for the fun of it. Just to say goodbye. Oh, yes. Inner child healing. Oh, wow. Look at this. Inner child healing and looking within. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Or, you know, we could look at it this way. Shine that light on that inner child healing. You just go in and you say, hey, you, pretend like you're getting interviewed, but it's by the most real person where you also want to add some like cynical humor, right? So you're just going to jump right in with all your childhood hurts laid on the table and make a joke about it, right? So you're saying, hey, how was your childhood? Well, actually, it was pretty fucked up because this and this and this happened, but you know, hey. So then you kind of realize, oh, hey, okay, this is what my problem is. I have an issue. It's obviously not healed because it's coming up as a negative thing when I think about my childhood. This is something that you need to deal with. So you say, hey, I'm gonna do this inner child sh uh, shadow healing work. So you're gonna take the situation and you're gonna look at it. You're gonna think about it. You're gonna say, why did I think that way? And why did I feel that way about the situation? You're gonna say, hey, now that I'm adult, maybe I can look at the situation and say, oh, oh hey, well, I actually can't blame this because that and that and that. And you know, this person in their life, they were probably abused just as much as they abused me or this and this and that. You find ways to allow yourself to heal, to, to frame things in a way where you're not going to be actively hurt by it. You're, you're going to let you give your feelings a break here. You know what I mean? And there's so many different ways. This is where people get confused because there's so many different situations, so many different ways. And I am going to get into a lot of those. I already have some videos on Claire Berry. I have a playlist. You can go to Clary Berry channel. Same spelling as Clary Berry and uh, excuse me, Clary Berry Sanctuary here. You can go to just Clary Berry 
actually there may be a space too I think it's Clary Space Fairy but anyway you can go there and go to the playlist and see uh, go to the law of attraction playlist and you can see a lot of these kind of pertinent relevant videos there um, but then also I'm gonna make a, a playlist here as well so again thank you so much I hope you got something out of this just keep going within keep doing the shadow work again just stay subbed and we'll go through this journey together so uh, I love you guys much love many blessings take care and I'll talk to you real soon